Guys, my name's Peter Hurley and I'm a portrait photographer in New York and I love telling people about how to be more photogenic in front of the camera. So today is the day, today's your day. This is about you, it's not about me, it's about you. It's about you. I've been photographing for about 18 years and everybody who comes through my door, about 95% of them have no clue which side of their face is their good side. Do you know which side's your good side? Are you sure? Sometimes the 5% of the people are wrong. We're gonna figure this out today. Maybe you're ambifacial. Do you know if you're ambifacial? Do you know what ambifacial is? Probably not because I made it up, but you can guess what ambifacial means, right? Ambidextrous, left or right hand. Ambifacial, which side of your face is more photogenic? Why would you not give yourself your best side to people that you're working, talking to, coworkers, whatever, you're giving a talk, you're out at a bar and you're checking out, hey, if you're a lefty, you gotta go to the right side of the bar. I mean, if you're ambifacial, you can go in the middle, you can work both sides of the bar, but if you're a righty, you gotta go to the left side of the bar. I don't care how crowded it is, you got me? That's important stuff. Everybody has a sweet spot. I want you to know your sweet spot. Even if you're ambifacial and every side looks good, you got your move. My move is right about here. I know, I modeled for years. I always liked this right, right here. Now other people, they like this. I don't like this as much, still good. Still good. I start to come together over here. I like the angle over here. You know what I'm saying? My parents hooked me up. I got lucky. Now, everybody has this area of their face that is the most attractive. How do you find it? How are you gonna figure it out? What are you gonna look for? Could be a number of things, and it might not be based on what you think. Some people have a mole on one side and they like that side, but they're facially, the shape of their face is better on this side, so the mole might not be even, even be helpful. Some people get a scar on this side, the shape of their face is beautiful here, but they like this side because the scar's not on, even though the scar's really cool. Things like that. You know, celebrities, they know which side of their face is their good side. Barbara Streisand switched seats on Ellen just to be on her good side. Tom Hanks did a whole rendition of his side of his face on another video. I was lucky enough to photograph a young girl came in here, she was 12, and her name was Ariana Grande, and every picture I took of her, I looked through the shoot, it was all on the left side of her face. We worked that side of her face, and then years later it became known that she likes that side of her face. I guess I was discovering that with her way back when. So you need to know this, you need to figure it out, and I'm gonna give you some tools right now so you can get on it. So I had to search far and wide to find one of these human beings. They're, they're out there. There's only about 1%, like I said, but this is Roxy and Roxy came all the way from Germany because I had to find her. And, uh, and, and she is what I consider ambifacial. I photographed her and you can see these photographs. And if, if you look at different angles of her face, look at that angle of her face, beautiful, right? Now look over here. Oh my gosh. Unbelievable, either side, right? Run the gamut, come through like this and start to slowly observe her face. This is what we do as photographers. We look at this kind of stuff, we figure people out. I have to make people look their best. With her, I, was, I felt that every angle of her face was more beautiful than the next. Now, there is a sweet spot. Everybody's got one angle that's just like maybe a touch better and once you find that, you go nuts. Guys, so I almost forgot. Remember the hair part theory? I gotta tell you about this. So I have found through my shooting and everything that about 90% of the time, the, the side that the person parts their hair on is their good side, right? Ambifacial people will change their hair part from time to time. If you look at my pictures from high school, my hair was always parted to the, on the right side and then lately I parted on the left. Roxy's got the same situation. There's like, look, there's not really a part over here. She could part left, so part it left. So it would come, well, you don't have to flip it like a crazy person, but yeah. And then, and then flip it around over to the other side. And it naturally, there is no really severe part. Like there's a part here on her hair and that would be the left, which is the side I really like. But now flip it this way again. Let's see where, where the natural, where it naturally wants to go. This is like, and it would be like in, in here, which would be fine, which would be on the right. So it's just, I don't know if it's, you know, we're born with it or what it is or some divine intervention knows where we're supposed to part our hair. And uh, that's, just, that's just it. But she's ambifacial, she can do the flip either way. I've been known to get people to flip their hair mid-shoot to make sure I capture their good side. We don't want to block, if, the, if her left's her good side and you part the hair on the right, you're blocking your good side. You wanna make sure that you flip the hair, flip the hair this way so that we get the beauty and all the side open, so the face is open so that we can get those shots. You got it? Good. 
I gotta bring in a friend. Gary, come in here. I got my buddy Gary. Gary, I've been shooting for 18 years. Gary was one of my first subjects. He's, we, were, we were modeling to get, he's a good looking guy. <laughs> Better than, looking than the average male. Gary, I don't believe has a bad side. I believe Gary's ambifacial, but when we started shooting, you parted your hair a little bit on the right and kind of threw it this way. And now obviously it's, it's, um, it's where it is. <laughs> so. <laughs> Not much of it. Now, if you are one of those gentlemen that seems to be lacking in the follicular horsepower department, you have to think about where you used to part your hair. And that might give you a clue to get started. But as you can see, Gary looks great straight on. So try that first. All right, I got my buddy Joe here. Joe, do you know which side of your face is your good side? No, why would I know that? Well, you, should, you walk around in public and you should know, you know, you should be aware of this thing. Why not? People are always taking selfies of themselves and they don't know what their good sides are. Do you know that? So you get the camera up here, you spin it around and you take your, you put on your selfie camera. Hold that. Okay. Now, I want you to do this. I want you to take a picture. I want you to imagine there's a clock on the floor and straight ahead would be 12 o'clock. Okay. And, and, and you're standing at six o'clock and the clock's on the floor. 12 o'clock is straight ahead. So you're looking straight ahead. I want you to take a head-on headshot straight into your camera like that. Then I want you to move your nose to 11 o'clock. So it will be over here and then look in the camera as you're doing it. Now take a picture and now move your nose to one o'clock as if you were one o'clock on that clock. Keep going, one o'clock, what are you doing? Stop fooling gonna, around, I need get over there. I need a digital clock. Is that better? There you go. <laughs> and take a picture. And now you can look at those three pictures and you can decide which angle of the, your face you like. You can also look at pictures to figure this out. So look at pictures of yourself, figure out what you like. But if you're taking selfies, you better get this good side. And also if you're taking selfies, stop doing this. What are you doing this? Stop doing this, do this. You get no background when you're doing this. You gotta do this. You get a good jawline if you get your jawline. Right, there but you, that's, go. you get double chin reduction when you hold it up that high. No, yeah, but you, if you didn't see my jawline video, you'd know that you don't need to do that. You're not gonna get any background here. There's only two reasons to do this. One for jawline, which you could do if you just go like this, and two for cleavage, but we don't have that, so we don't need to be up there. I couldn't resist, Diana was here. Guess what I had to do? I had to check out her sides. I had to look at every side. She got a new haircut. We're gonna shoot, we're gonna do the little spin maneuver, and we're gonna get every angle, and we're gonna find out which side of her face is the best one. Ready? Okay. Guys, I'm here with Diana. We just finished a shoot. I love photographing her. This is our fourth time together and she cut her hair so she came in. And I'm always curious. I love every angle of her face and she is totally ambifacial for me. You totally are. So we're gonna look at the, we, I spun her on the stool and we're gonna look and we're gonna suss this out. We're gonna decide what really, what angle of her face is the best. So her profiles are amazing. I think she looks great on the right side of her face. I love these two angles right here. Um, and that angle's fantastic. And then straight on, anytime she looks straight in my camera, I'm a happy camper. <laughs> um, but then over here, I think it, this feature's getting even stronger. Yeah, you like the left side. I like the left a little bit, like right there, even there, look at that. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. And you part your, your hair's part of the left, going a little bit from the left. Yeah. Do you ever change it both to do either way or is it yes. always on the left? Yes. You so, can flip it either way. Because my favorite side is the right, I used to part it to this side. So, <laughs> but you like the left, so it's kind of purposely, kind of purposely moved to the Really? Side. You really think, you? I, every time you're with me, I always like the left? Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Just interesting, guys. Everybody's different, everybody's got a thing. I like shooting her on either side. I would consider her ambifacial. And then if we're gonna find a sweet spot, I don't know, I, it's so hard. I like straight on for me works every time and I and I do like the face a little bit to the left. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Now, I found the sweet spot on Diana. To me that's exciting as a photographer and I got to say to myself, shabang. All right, I'm excited for you guys to go figure this out. Let's go figure it out. Like get off this and go figure it out. This is for you. It's for your face. You got to walk around. You're going to know once you figure this out and get this nailed down, you know what to do. We went over it all. We know 60% of people are better looking on the left. We know about the hair part theory. We know that we're going to go nose straight in, nose to the right, nose to the left. Now you're going to know when you go group chat with your friends, you're a lefty, go to the, go to the left of the group. You're a righty, go to the right of the group. You're ambifacial, you stay in the center. And if you're not sure and you're not really feeling this or figuring it out, ask your friends or better yet, go to headshotcrew.com. 
I got over 14,000 photographers on it ready to help you. I coach them on this stuff. They're good. They're, not only are you gonna figure out your face, you're gonna come out with an amazing picture, all right? So go get it done and enjoy yourself. And remember, if you are ambifacial, thank your parents. <laughs>